All right, coming up next, a lightweight tilt between Olivier Obama Mercier and Bruce Lee. Ah, yes, here he is, the founder of Jeet Kune Do, and as Dana White calls him, the father of modern mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee making the walk tonight. You can make the argument no man has had as much of an influence on UFC fighters as Bruce Lee has. Quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. Man, it would have been great to see what Bruce Lee could have done inside the UFC. He is making the walk tonight. This guy has extremely unusual kicking speed. His technique is outstanding, and there is no wind-up to his movement. Well, what a pop from the crowd as this guy makes the walk. Such a well-rounded fighter, and you gotta think when the opponent breaks him down on film, not a lot of weaknesses jump out of the video. This is a true mixed martial artist. May not stand out in any one area, but plus skills across the board. Probably comfortable just about anywhere this fight goes tonight. This guy is very well-rounded. He literally has no weaknesses in his game. He is technical in all areas of mixed martial arts. tape for this lightweight fight. Three years apart with similar height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, her team. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! All round in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now with the his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, three losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Olivier Obama. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after Ready, it. Fight. Ready. We are underway. <laughs> Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Goes for a single. Back to the feet now. Relax, relax. 
You got to be careful when you throw the same technique over and over and over again. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Big oh. kick to the head. He is done. He is hurt. Oh, very nice. He didn't miss with that uppercut. Head kick. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Slips. Pretty strong jab there by Obama Mercier. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Looping left hand misses the target. Trying to establish that jab once again. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. How about that shin? Two minutes now to go. Big left hand there inside. Mercier gets caught by the inside leg kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Really missed with that right hand. 90 seconds now to go in round one. Just out of range with that left hook. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. 45 seconds remain in the round. Nice. <laughs> Throwing it to the body there. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Tagged him. Huge uppercut misses. Very nice straight left hand. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. That landed. Well, he's got a strong jab. Missed with it there, though, Joe. Round two straight ahead. Good to have Brazil's Jenny Andrade in the building here. You ready to fight? Here we are, early round two. Starting. Whoa! He tagged him. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. He's got him hurt here. There's a nice inside leg kick. Well placed with the kick. Oh, and he's down. Switching stances here. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more.
more than just one strike at a time. Going for a submission. He's looking for the mounted triangle here. And what he wants to do is, he wants to pin one of his opponent's arms down, throw his leg behind his opponent's head, then take that leg. And his sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Got him in the full guard here, and he's landing some brutal strikes. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Obama Mercier. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the guard. He's looking to take the back. Neither fighter's really doing anything. He's got the hooks. Trying to get that arm underneath the chin. Looks like he's got it now. He rolls on. He's got it under the chin now. He's trying to go palm to palm. This is, could be it. Any second now, he might have to tap. This rear naked choke is tighter and tighter. And there it is. Stunning. Stunning. And he really made it look easy. He got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Gorgeous setup on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, he chose to tap out. And here we see it again from a second angle. Cuts off the blood supply, and there's the tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 46 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by top out due to a rear naked choke, Olivier Obama! Well, the celebration is on in the corner after the big submission win here tonight. He told us during fight week that he needed to prioritize a finish here. Decisions were not going to be enough to take his career where he wants to take it and expeditiously. So, gets the submission tonight. Now the celebration is on. There got to be few things in all of pro sports as satisfying than to be able to celebrate a UFC win with your coaches and training partners.